You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. Uh, just that you have a big heart. You like doing what's right. So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads? God! I've tried to think outside the box just a little. That's the obvious option, yes. But consider the alternatives. Yes. Exactly. Just think. How many people have the Mind Flayers infected? Hundreds? Thousands? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the Worm's Thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. Power is just a tool. It's people that are good or evil. And even they can be a little bit, um... <sighs> I mean, I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find that. Murder some people and, um... Look, I'm not a details person, all right? But turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. That's just the thing. If we control the parasites, then we can order them not to change us. All the power! with none of the tentacles. Isn't it? Imagine the entire cult under our thumb. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity before us. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and enjoy a little world domination on the side. <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't sound fun. Do. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. <laughs> 